Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Melanie with Addicted to Planning and uh, so happy you're here. You, I'm sure, recognize this green box. I did finally receive my Hobonichi order from Japan. It came a little late and I, I'm not sure if it's because of the typhoon or because just of the abundance of orders, but I did order it on the first, so not exactly launch day, but close enough and it just came on Friday. Today's Monday. so. I have obviously been in the box, but I've not really done much with what's in there because I thought I would do an unboxing for you. Now, that being said, I don't have a lot in here. So before you click away, I do have something in here that I'm not really seeing in any unboxing videos that I wanted to share. Otherwise, I would probably just skip this because Lord knows I'm sure you've seen 300 shell pink mega weeks um, being unboxed and that's what I got in here plus my little red pen but um, there's one other item I did order I'm not really seeing and I was looking because I was hoping to see it in advance of mine arriving but um, I don't know maybe it's just not a popular item and people aren't getting it uh, in addition I do have another little um, happy mail envelope I will share with you so uh, let's get into the green box and I'm not obviously going to read the quote because I'm sure you all have it memorized by now so we will start with I'm sorry if that was loud okay we'll start with the like I said shell pink mega weeks I did decide to go to the mega next year and that is because I have decided to start daily bullet journal journaling again stumbling over my words okay so right now I am in a regular size weeks and I do have quite a few pages left at the back um, but I am missing the daily bullet journaling uh, portion of my planner. So if you follow me on Instagram, I actually just posted a picture today, exceptionally busy day, definitely had to reach into the back and grab a page and just brain dump all the stuff that I've got going on. But so that being said, going to a mega next year, most people say they don't even come close to touching all those 200 and some odd pages. I think I may, but it's a challenge I'm gonna give it a go so my mega weeks um, and we'll talk a little bit more about how I plan to set this up um, when I'm done going through the tiny little teeny unboxing I got going on all right so obviously the hobo pen everybody's seen these and of course I got a pink weeks and a red pen and that's gonna bug me so I bet you this will go in a drawer and the hobo pen from this year someone posted on facebook uh, a picture of the shell we the shell the, <laughs> the shell pink with this year's pen and it is a beautiful combination so i might actually have to pull out that pen and start using it so the other thing i got i'm going to get rid of this box is the um small drawer pouch um and i didn't think these pinks would match because they weren't even close to being called the same thing but I mean I might as well stick within the same color theme so um, let's pull this out hopefully it's not too loud and maybe nobody's unboxing these because you know people got them last year and didn't use them didn't like them. I don't even know I don't know but I thought it was so versatile if you look at the pictures on the hobo site you know people are using it for makeup like electronic cords um, you know obviously all the planner supplies so the zipper I will say is super smooth very sweet I do like that it's got this little you know so you can kind of carry it around by a finger if you want and then inside um, is two sections now I will say I did think and hope that this was actually a little longer because I was thinking that I would be able to stick like you know that in there and even my stencils um but i don't think they're gonna well maybe this no i think that's really gonna crush them and that would bug me so i don't think i'm gonna be able to use these over here like i'd hoped but anyway so pocket here pocket here a longer pocket here and then on this side a zipper for pens and some elastics so i'm hoping that maybe some planner supplies would be you know good in here little scissors pens the multitude of you know highlighters i got and uh, ruler whatever else you would want to stick in here maybe a roll of washi tape but so that's the drawer pouch and i'm not entirely sure why it's not a popular item or if it is people aren't unboxing it <laughs> but here's mine so that is that so let's talk a little bit about this guy and what i plan on doing next year with it so 
this is this year's I'm gonna go ahead and take this off so I think when I did the video I, I told you guys that it, it is fat for a regular weeks and I've only been in it since you know part of May um, it's it's pretty bulky and a lot of that is you know sticker kits and I'm gonna show you last week because in my last video I said you know it was bare so it is bare right like there's no sticker kit but there's still lots of stickers. There's not even really any washi on this one. I think on this one, I had one little strip of washi and a few less stickers, but still stickers. Um, and I think it's because I stare at this all week and I love, you know, a little something to jazz it up. But um, so this was last week. I did sort of track my water. I didn't think I would, but I did. I still don't drink as much water as I should. Um, but I am enjoying this little column being used for steps, weather, and meals. Um, this side is, you know, uh, appointments, events, uh, you know, anything like that, and then my to-dos. Now, that being said, with this week, um, and I didn't even look to make sure there's nothing on here that's um, personal, but anyway, um, and should I be zooming in? Probably, sorry about that. Um, there, are a lot of to do's and since I said like I said uh, there's a lot of pages left at the back I just went ahead and started bullet journaling back here so like daily bullet journaling so that um, you know I, I can save up these pages so I will continue to obviously use these um, but I'm thinking that maybe this section will just strictly become maybe a habit tracker maybe some errands I need to run you know, maybe my top three weekly goals and then do my daily bullet journaling at the back, especially since I'm gonna have 200 and some odd pages. I am going to also lay off the weekly kits, um, maybe some washi here and there just to, you know, keep it interesting and pretty, uh, but I'm, I'm gonna try to really dial that back um, because I, I'm, I wanna try to keep this as you know slim as possible because well some people absolutely love that chunky bullet journal or sorry um, chunky Hobonichi planner you know some of them I mean they're they're impressive they they look like the if you keep going the the covers are gonna touch on the other side but um, I like it thin I like to keep it you know um, that it fits in my hand nice and if you remember my last video this is the the sojourner cover now um, I'm still kind of on the fence about what to do. I'm not poking a hole in it because not only did, and I'm going to probably pronounce her name wrong, but Rowena reach out <laughs> and say, yeah, don't do that because the leather is so thin that it would probably stretch or rip or whatever. So she, she effectively scared me out of poking a hole in this. So I'm not going to do that. I took the hair tie off and here's why I did order a black leather, oddly enough, it's called a hobo um, bag and there are so many pockets and I might do a, um, a review of that, kind of like a what's in my bag video. Um, but oddly enough, this there's a pocket that this slides in perfectly, just like that. And so I don't worry now about, you know, it opening or getting crushed in my bag because it's got its own dedicated individual pocket. So I'm still using this cover and I'm still hoping to, to continue to do so. So that's all working. Now what I do wanna do, and I've saved it for this video and it's I've been thinking about it all weekend, is I want to put that in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of this one. Get all that noise. All right, so, so let's go ahead and open this one up. I'm sorry again about the plastic, because I know that's super loud. You guys have seen these. I'm not going to even open it. I've seen it. I've even seen the, the English version. I don't know if anybody's seen that. Somebody said that the um, English planner comes with an English version of that. So what's cool is, you know, I think I saw it on Facebook. But anyway, you can literally go read what this is, what this says. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. Anyway, so let's see how this fits inside the Sojourner. I always fumble on camera. Sorry about that. So there, oh, there's my bookmarks, which I do use. If you saw some of my older pictures too, I'd ordered these charms. They were so pretty, but um, they fell off. Uh, and I'm sure there's a way that I could rig it to put them back on, but I'm lazy and I haven't done it. So those are the, the little bookmarks. So that's 
Look how nice and slim that is and how perfect that fits. Like, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Anyway, so yes, mega weeks. Let's see if I uh, rise to the challenge and use up all of these pages. Look how many pages that is. That's a ton. But I do like that they're numbered. And I think that's the other reason why I went to a mega because that's what my other package is. Someone told me about this and I, I ordered it like the same day as my hobo order. Um, and then I regretted it because I'm like, what are you doing? You've got like a mega coming. Why do you need this? So this is from Rock Your Notebook is the name of the store or the website, rockyournotebook.com. And she does sell weak sized um, Tomo, Tomoe River. Oh, I just realized this is blank. Totally not what I was expecting. So now I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> because I'm not gonna be writing in it. There's no lines. Well, that's a huge disappointment. I did also see on her website that I think her future notebooks are gonna have rounded corners. Um, mine, have, unfortunately, also did not. It is saddle stitched, but not like the hobo um, notebook in which it's, you know, like little, I don't even know what they're called, but they're like little pieces throughout the um, spine that are individually stitched. This is one big folded in half, stitched down the middle um notebook it's got 160 pages and i, I want to go back to the website now and try to figure out where did i miss the part where i, I it was could have been grid but anyway so gotta love when you're unboxing on a video and that's when you're disappointed but anyway maybe someone out there likes plain paper um and if so then this is what it would look like this is the notebook so this got like i said 160 pages um, saddle stitch down the center um, and so what I was saying is about this is that obviously the hobo pages are numbered at the bottom. And so what I did this week, because again, I had to jump to the back and, um, daily bullet journal, I took this page number and I actually wrote it on today. So it actually says page 39. So if I was coming here and I was wondering, you know, where were all of my to do's this week, today, whatever. I could jump to page 39 and, and see them all. And that's what I intend on doing um, in the in the new one. Um, so I think that that will be helpful. Now from a setting up for 2020 perspective, because I think everybody is doing that right now, um, because who's not anxious about starting to use these? Um, I will do the same. I will go through the um, collections I have at the back of this one figure out which ones I used a lot, how I want to tweak any others, and then bring it over here. Uh, for example, I have a uh, waiting for tracker, and um, it started to turn into an online order tracker. So I think I'm going to separate them because I do like to know when I'm waiting on a return phone call or you know, um, I've asked somebody for something and I want you know, to make sure that I track it, that you know, it's still out there and it's, it's not complete yet. So I'm gonna separate those. So we'll have the online orders and then we'll have the actual at waiting for. The other thing um, I'm gonna do is again, since I'm not gonna be doing monthly kits, um, I think these are probably the only, well, that's not true. Uh, we know I'm gonna put washi in there on the on the months, but um, but I ordered these from Josephine Bow. She's in the UK. These do take a while to get here. I think it's part shipping and part um, uh, customs but um, so I ordered these when I ordered the hobo and I never used them so I'll probably go ahead and put all of these in my new um, 2020 hobo Nietzsche um, for the monthly spreads and the other thing I ordered and didn't use in that order were the monthly tabs and I'm still unsure about these um, because and maybe somebody out there can tell me if you have the tabs here and you put a pen here, does it crush them? Does it get in the way? Does it bother you? Like, I don't know what to do. So when I got them, I didn't use them, especially since I got them in, I think I got them in June. I ordered them in May. I think I got them in like late June. And I was like, what am I gonna do? Like June and then go all the way. Like, I was like, I didn't know what to do. So I just kind of put them to the side. And so now I'm like, do I pull them out and use them now? Um, but I, I started wondering if the pen would get in the way. And if it did, will that bug me? So I, I don't know, I may use those. Um, but aside from that, what other spreads do I have at the back? I'm going to bring back in my tip-ins. 
um, I'm going to fix my index page. So this will not be an index. I'll probably use the first blank spread as the index. Um, I may or may not washi tape the um, inside covers like some other people have done. I, I think it looks really good. I just don't know if I'm talented enough to, uh, to get that right. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. I can't think of anything else that I do in this that I plan on changing for next year. But I did want to pop by at least show you <laughs> the one random thing that you know maybe you haven't seen yet don't know but and show you what the mega looks like in this cover and talk about this which now I just um, any ideas what do you guys think I should do with this thing because I, I really can't see me using it but maybe bam, watercolor <laughs> help I don't know anyway so that guy and my pen and my plans and hopefully that was helpful don't know but uh, as always appreciate you guys watching and uh, hope to talk to you soon